Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very amazing and special problem and I'm sure all of you will enjoy it. This is original problem. So here is the statement of this problem. A conducting regular octagonal plate circuit having its vertices maintained at potential V0, 2, V0, 3, V0, 4, V0 like this up to 8 V0 as you can uh, see in the diagram also V0, 2, V0, 4, V0, 5, V0, 6, 7, 8 V0 is given with the help of ideal batteries as uh, shown in the diagram the other terminal of these batteries is connected to earth an ideal voltmeter is connected to the center O of the plate so it's uh, an ideal voltmeter so there will not be current in this branch find what will be the potential at the center of the plate that we have to find and derive the same result of potential at the center for n-sided regular polygon uh, conducting plate polygonal uh, conducting plate having potentials of vertices as v0 2 v0 3 v0 up to n v0 so let's discuss the concept of this problem and uh, here as you can see uh, Potential at two points due to the same charge configuration can be related to each other by a real number k such that v1 is equal to kv2 where k depends on the geometry. So let's try to understand this uh, concept part here. So if there is a point charge and there is a point p1 at a distance of r and another point p2 is at a distance of 2r. So potential at p1 I can write as uh, kq by r whereas potential at uh, p2 i'll be writing it as kq by 2r and these p1 and p2 potentials are related to each other with a number and uh, here you can see that is equal to vp1 is equal to 2 v, uh, vp2 so you can say here the k value is uh, 2 for this case similarly we can take another example and here for a charge uh, ring uniform charge ring there are three points c p1 and p2 Potential formula on the axis of the ring is kq by root of r square plus x square. So potential at the center is going to be kq by r and p1 which is at a distance of r it is going to be kq by root of r square plus r square. If you simplify that this is going to be kq by root 2 r. Similarly I can write for p2 it is at a distance of 2 r. So the vp2 I can write it as kq by root 5 times r. And here you can see we can relate these potentials with any other potential by using a number and that number is changing depending on the geometry of it. So VP1 is VC by root 2, VP2 similarly is VC by root 5, VC is KQ by R. Similarly then I can relate these two also VP2 is equal to root 2 by 5 VP1. So every time we are using a number and that is a real number here. So let's um, move ahead. Now this is the octagonal uh, plate here and all the vertices are maintained at potential of V with the help of these batteries. So in this case, since this is ideal voltmeter, there will not be any current in this uh, branch and due to symmetry, I can say contribution of uh, each point will be related to this VO by some number. Uh, we don't know that number as of now but by symmetry you can say since current cannot go anywhere so whatever current this battery will send whatever current this battery will send similarly this battery this battery all of them are sending current in the into the circuit but there is no place to for this current to come out or go so definitely if uh, there is no current flow i can simply say that is possible only if that point O is also at the same potential. In fact, entire plate will be at same potential because charges are at rest, current is not flowing and uh, this is a conducting plate. So entire plate will be at same potential and you can say here this potential is uh, VO uh, which is going to be V in this case. Potential at the center is going to be V in this situation. So here I can say geometry wise with respect to each vertices uh, the location is same so the real number which we are going to use it must be same for all the points here uh, I can write that if these potentials were different v1, v2, v3, v4, v5 like this up to v8 then potential at the center vo I can write it as a number times v1 where this number is going to be same because with respect to all these points 
O is at same geometric location that symmetry is maintained and symmetry is a very powerful tool in the physics problems. So you have been seeing me using it frequently in problems in videos. So I'll suggest you wherever you get the chance try using the symmetry it will lead you to a very simple and uh, crisp answer. So now I can write this kv1 plus kv2 plus kv3 up to kv8 for all all the vertices I am uh, using that number times potential of that point and that contribution is going to give me this potential at O. But just now we have discussed about that potential at the center O is nothing but V itself. So this VO is V and individual V1, V2, V3 values are also V only here. So you can say K if I take K common this V1 plus V2 plus V3 each one of them is going to be V because these are the batteries I'm connecting here. So I'm going to get this number. I'm going to get this number as one by eight or you can say the contribution uh, in the potential uh, by this number which depends on the geometry in this situation is going to be one by eight for all the vertices due to symmetry. Now let's move to the uh, original problem here. Now these uh, vertices are maintained at uh, different potential but due to geometry that number k is going to be same. So now this question becomes very simple. I can write potential at the center in this situation will be kv1 plus kv2 up to kv8 similar to previous part. So now I'm going to substitute k is uh, I'm taking common v1 is v0 v2 is 2 v0 v3 is 3 v0 similarly up to v8 which is 8 v0. So here it's a very simple series uh, will come first eight terms uh, sum we have to write it's a simple AP so I can write K which is uh, 1 by 8 in this situation and this will become N N plus 1 by 2 so number of terms are uh, 8 here so 8 into 8 plus 1 by 2 when I simplify this I'm going to get 9 by 2 V naught. This is going to be the answer for this particular problem. And I'm using this result here that sigma n is equal to n n plus 1 by 2. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, solution. Now I'm going to extend this result for uh, n sided polygon. Can you say in case of n sided polygon that number will become 1 by n? That number is going to be 1 by n. So 1 by n times v0 plus 2 v0 plus 3 v0 up to n v0 for the last vertices we are going to write. So I am going to take this uh, 1 by n here and v0 also I'll take common then this is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. So this number is going to be this sum is going to be here uh, 1 by 1 uh, 1 by n is as it is and that sum in the bracket is uh, n n plus 1 by 2 times v0. If I simplify this, I'm going to get this V center as N plus 1 by 2 times V naught. So this is going to be the answer for second part. I hope you have enjoyed this method. And if you have learned something new, please give it a like, share it with the other students and uh, teachers. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Such type of questions are definitely a very good candidate for JE advanced exam. So. I'll, I'll bring another amazing problem very soon. Please keep sharing it. It will motivate me. And uh, let's meet in the next video. Thank you. Thank you very much.